Leptospirosis is a horrible disease which causes significant kidney issues and significant liver issues. Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today I'm going to talk about the bacteria Leptospirosis, also called Lepto, and what vaccine we use to help prevent it, if a dog does get it, how do we treat it, and what do we see, and most importantly, how is a dog going to do after getting Lepto? Leptospirosis is a bacteria. It's a spirochete. And there's actually a handful of different serovars or variations in the Lepto disease. So one dog could get Lepto and another dog could get Lepto and there could be different species of Lepto. Leptospirosis is usually transmitted by other dogs or from wildlife via urine or their secretions. So I'm sure a lot of you have been to the veterinarian and they pull out this vaccine called leptospirosis or it's in combination with your distemper parvo vaccine. Like any vaccine, it's not perfect, but the vaccine has been shown to be helpful in preventing the disease. Like any vaccine, you can get vaccine reactions. So that may include vomiting, diarrhea, hives, and the really bad cases, severe anaphylactic reactions, which would include a very lethargic doggy that needs to be seen by the veterinarian. Leptospirosis is one of those diseases where you don't, we don't see it a whole bunch. And, uh, you know, I as a veterinarian here in Nebraska, I see it just a few times a year. But the problem with that is leptospirosis is a horrible disease which causes significant kidney issues and significant liver issues. And if gone untreated, and even with treatment, some of them die from it, some, some of them develop chronic kidney disease, and it can be incredibly taxing and tolling and life-threatening for the doggy. What does a pet owner notice when the dog has lepto? Lepto usually causes symptoms like lethargy, don't want to eat, or anorexia. They may vomit. The, the big thing is you may not see the really significant signs until later because lepto will cause liver and kidney damage. And as the disease progresses, the doggy may get like an orange or jaundiced skin. But at first, if it's noticed right away, you may not see the actual problem. You may see the tip of the iceberg and under it, blood work wise, we have a major issue. When a client rolls in the veterinary office, we'll do blood work and we'll do urine. And what we're going to see is increased kidney values and increased liver values. Now, a lot of things can cause these values to increase. But if you give me a healthy dog who's like middle age and there's no other pre-existing condition, then magically we're sick. I'm thinking, could this be infectious? So based on our history, if we haven't been vaccinated for lepto, we're going to do a lepto test. And sometimes you can do lepto tests in-house. Other times have to be sent out to get it done. And there's different like tests you can do looking for antigens, antibodies, PCRs. But no matter what, we need to diagnose it as lepto. That way we can be confident of what's causing the major organ disease. Once we get it diagnosed, and even without the diagnosis, as we're working on the diagnosis, we're going to get the doggy hydrated with fluids, IV fluids. We're going to hospitalize. We're going to be giving antibiotics to kill the bacteria. We're going to be doing a handful of things, all hands on board, to hopefully help this doggy to feel better. Most dogs with lepto will stay in the hospital for a few days. They are zoonotic, so people can get this disease too, and so can dogs. So we need to handle this doggy very carefully with gloves and masks and the whole nine yards to make sure nobody else gets sick. In some cases, the dogs completely recover and do well. In other cases, we may have chronic long-term kidney issues. And unfortunately, in some cases, some of them do pass away because it is a really, really horrible disease. If you have had any experience with lepto, please go ahead and share and like and provide comments. Um, I really appreciate it when people share their experiences because that's when we all can grow and learn more. 